8 minutes and 46 seconds. That's how long Officer Derek Chauvin is believed to have kept his knee on George Floyd's neck, leading to Floyd's death and sparking mass protests across the country and the world. But it all started on this street corner, turned into a memorial. I still get angry and upset. You know, I like the memorials and stuff like that, but what happened to George Floyd should have never happened. On May 25, 2020, Floyd took his final breath at the hands of a white police officer, another black victim of police brutality, but one activist's hope will finally bring change. We hope that Derek Chauvin will be the first officer that goes to prison for killing a black person in Minnesota. It would be very disappointing if Derek Chauvin doesn't have to go to prison. And I think that we'll continue to stand up and fight for justice. We're going to get out and protest and practice our constitutional rights until things change. The Minneapolis courthouse where Chauvin will stand trial has turned into a fortress surrounded by concrete blocks, fences, and barbed wire. Heavy security that some residents see as a provocation. I think it shows that, as usual, police and city officials are more concerned about property than people. Here in Minnesota, we haven't seen a lot of justice when it comes to uh, police officers and um, in the black community. If this was a guilty verdict, this Gates wouldn't be here because we will be grateful with choice. This is a reaction. They want us to do something. With tensions running high between racial justice activists and the police, authorities are on high alert. 2,000 National Guard troops, as well as about 1,000 other law enforcement members, have been called in to help protect the city throughout this trial. Minneapolis is bracing for the worst, but hoping that the verdict of this trial doesn't spark the same violence that followed the death of George Floyd.